is facing a dilemma with his wife. Now, he says, may Allah Azza wa Jal grant his wife the hijab of Umm Sulaim. And I would say, Ameen. And he says that his wife loves during Ramadan to watch movies, TV series, listens to, listens to music, etc. And he doesn't know what to do. Akhi, there is a big problem among or between the spouses, the couple. When one of them all of a sudden starts to be practicing, this problem would not have appeared most likely if before you got married, you selected a spouse or a wife to be in the same or better than you in your religious practice. So if I were to get married, I will not choose a belly dancer. I would not choose someone who uh, does immodest things, a'udhu billah, because I am investing. I'm going to choose someone who is going to be an excellent mother for my children. I would know how she would upbring them, how, what, what is her mentality, how, what is she driven by. But usually when people are young, fresh graduates, they're interested in a woman for her beauty. So they get married, not focusing on religious practice because I'm not religious. I'm not committed. So I'd like someone to be like me. So after a while when attending lectures, listening to uh, um, uh, good words, watching a YouTube uh, video on Islamic uh, uh, teachings, Allah guides me to practicing Islam. So I love what I hear and see. I read the Quran, I get more knowledge, I'm getting stronger in Islam, focusing on myself and neglecting my wife. At the end of the day, the gap is widening. So now, when she and I used to love to sit on the couch, watch a movie, I don't watch movies anymore. It's all nudity, violence, music, and lies after lies. But my wife is still hooked on it. So there is a big drift between us. And all of a sudden, we get a caller saying, Sheikh, we have a problem, and I don't know what to do with my wife. Now, the easiest way out can be summarized in divorce, but this is not logical. Destroying your house, your family, over things that she disagrees with you over and you just call it a quit? No, this is running away from battle. What to do, Sheikh? You have to focus on saving her from hell so that she would be with you in Jannah if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wills it and you both enter Jannah. How to do that? Try to start from scratch. Try to have her get closer to religion a little bit better than before. She may not reach your level overnight. It may take a month, three months, six months, but you have to be patient. And you can't just flood her with everything. So quit music, quit movies, wear the hijab, wear the niqab, don't talk to anybody, close your social media accounts. Might as well tell her to drop herself or throw herself in the ocean while she doesn't know how to swim. She's going to drown. So you have to be wise, weigh the consequences, prioritize the things that to be addressed, and give unconditionally with full conviction and love and respect and show her mercy. Don't speak to her from your ivory tower and saying that, I know you don't know, you're ignorant, you're an imbecile, you don't have any knowledge, I know. Nobody accepts this. So, Akhi, it takes a lot of effort. And the gain and reward is priceless. But you have to put some effort into it. You have to walk the talk. You have to give her quality time. It's not en enough for you to grow a long beard and shorten your soap and pray in the masjid and then you do the whole nine yards 
of sins, of disrespect, of abuse, of this cheating and lying. This doesn't work. You have to be a role model and make a lot of dua in your sujood. Try to give her a, an alternative environment with good companionships. So lots of good women who are wise and well-educated to mix with her, to try and uh, give her da'wah because sometimes she may listen to them, not to you. And then, inshallah, Allah will make a difference bi'idhnillah.